Plants are vital to life on Earth. They use sunlight to fix inorganic elements like nitrogen, phosphorus and carbon into organic material. Plants form the base of animal food chains and are important for removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and generating oxygen. Because plants remove carbon dioxide from the air, they have a direct influence on the climate. We think of forests as the lungs of our planet, but only half of global photosynthesis occurs on land. The other half takes place in the water. If you were asked to think of a plant in the ocean, it is likely that you would think of seaweed. It looks similar and is the same sort of size as plants on land, but in fact almost all marine photosynthesis is carried out by microscopic plants. We call these tiny plants phytoplankton. They require the same things as plants on land to live. There are many different types and sizes. A thousand of the smallest species can fit end-to-end -end into one millimetre, whereas the phytoplankton giants are a hundred times as large. Although they are tiny, there are a lot of them. A mug of seawater could contain about a million. Phytoplankton are so numerous that the green chlorophyll they contain can be seen from space by using special satellite cameras. Phytoplankton growing in the ocean have to overcome a problem that plants on land do not have. For land plants, life is easy. The sunlight, nutrients and carbon dioxide are all close to the plant. For example, when a tree's leaves fall and decay, the nutrients are quickly recycled. Phytoplankton can only grow near the ocean's surface where there is lots of sunlight. Moving away from the surface, the ocean becomes dark very quickly. When phytoplankton die, they may sink hundreds or even thousands of meters into the dark ocean. The phytoplankton nutrients are recycled at great depths. The nutrients are returned to the surface by the effects of the wind and ocean currents, but this can take up to a thousand years. As phytoplankton grow at the surface, they absorb carbon dioxide that is dissolved in the seawater. This carbon dioxide has to be replaced and is absorbed from the air. When the phytoplankton die and sink, they take the carbon from the carbon dioxide they used to grow deep down into the depths. The tiny phytoplankton sink very slowly, averaging perhaps a few metres a day. A more efficient way to take the carbon to the ocean depths is to make the phytoplankton sink faster. Tiny animals called zooplankton eat large amounts of phytoplankton and excrete the waste carbon in dense pellets that sink rapidly at hundreds of metres per day. To understand the effect fully, we need to go out on research ships to explore the biology of photosynthesis, chemistry of nutrients and physics of the ocean flow. The growth of these microscopic plants in the ocean has a big effect on the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and so on the Earth's climate. <laughs>